Hello everyone. Today I want to show you how you install the LTX video model for ComfyUI. LTX is a quite fast video model which gives quite nice results under certain circumstances. For example, the resolution is a little bit limited and also the max frame number is limited, but this is a problem which all the video models have so far, especially the free ones. Uh, I think the results are quite nice. It looks really realistic. You can see it here, but you also can see the resolution is not so great. There is some space left for higher resolutions, but this is a sweet spot between resolution and speed. So generation of this video was quite fast. I want to show you how you install everything and then we will dive in how you use it in the next videos. Text to video is possible, image to video and video to video is also possible. And I will dive into ways on how you can resize the results to full HD or maybe we can try 4K. We will see what works out. So I will show you this one as well. Installation is quite straightforward. You have to go to the ComfyUI LTX video page and download this package and put it in the custom notes folder into your ComfyUI installation. You also can do it via the manager or you can do it with a command line and the git command, git clone and then this URL. So everything should be downloaded to your custom notes folder. It can be helpful to check out the requirements text file and download the maybe missing requirements and packages with pip. Change into your custom notes folder and then into the LTX video folder. Let's do this right now. So, and the comfy UI custom notes folder and then the comfy UI LTX video folder and then do something like pip install r requirements text and that should download you all the missing modules for your Python and for the add-on to work. Be sure to check your terminal for any errors so that you know if something is missing. This workflow might be different if you're on Windows. I'm using Linux, but if you're using the terminal, you might know what to do and how you work with your operating system. So after installing the add-on, we need to download the model. I will link everything in the description below. Everything is also described on the GitHub page of LTX video, but there are some errors or some things didn't work out for me. You can see the pip install our requirements and then you see you need to download the model and then it says install one of the T5 text encoders. And I tried to install this one and it didn't work. So I ended up by using the PixArt text encoder. Uh, I will link it in the description below as well. It's called PixArt Alpha and only this one worked as a text encoder. And I show you how you have to install it. First, you need to check if your ComfyUI installation has the text encoder folder in your model folder. So let's have a look. So this is my models folder and I see here, I already have the text encoders folder, but you can create it under Linux with this command or simply go to the folder with your file browser and create text encoders. And then we go into this folder and now we have to clone the PixArt alpha model. The first time I tried to install this PixArt model for the text encoding. I simply did this with the git clone and then the URL of the repository. And I thought everything worked out, but I realized that the normal git command doesn't download big files. So all the big models included in this repository were missing. And to solve this, I had to install the git large file storage. You can see it here. There are packages for Linux or 
it's also available on Windows and Mac. You need to install the git large file storage package and then this command will work afterwards. Otherwise it seems to work but it is missing the big models and I didn't get any error message so be sure to check if the uh, large file storage um, is installed on your system. When you start this clone process it's taking lots of time because it's around 40 gigabyte of uh, files to download and the process in my case wasn't um, wasn't shown in the terminal right so it looked like it was stalled um, so be sure to install the git large file storage and then you should be good to go to clone this uh, PixArt Alpha repository into your text encoders folder. And that should be everything you need to do. Inside your text encoders folder, there should be this PixArt XL folder. And this should look like this asset scheduler text encoder folder. And inside the text encoder folder, you should see all the needed models and if you have those you should be good to go you could try to download those models in the folder structure by hand but for me there was something else missing and i got a error message in confui again and so i did it like this and it worked out quite well so and then you should be able to build a workflow like this in the next video with me so be sure to subscribe check out all the link and all the text in the description below i will put everything in there yeah and i hope to see you in the next video when we start with the text to video workflow and uh, we will do text to video we will do image to video and we will try the video to video workflow and i hope to see you soon goodbye